What's going on guys, Blues Podcast is here and we are here for another Chelsea video and today we are gonna be doing a Chelsea vs Southampton match reaction as Chelsea draws 3-3 with a woeful defense last night and I will also be talking about what Chelsea must do, what to improve as Champions League clash getting closer and closer with Sevilla on Tuesday night but first before we cracking on this video make sure to like this video if you are enjoying this content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Here we go. So last night was a world class disaster for Chelsea defensively and on the other hand pretty quite good on the offensive side. So, in the last night's nice game, two of the most unwanted characteristics of Frank Lampard's Chelsea have been their goalkeeping vulnerability and their unrevealed ability to turn games they are crossing through into a struggle. Both were on show in a band this year, combining either side of half time. He asked Danny Ings to finish gave Southampton hope in a game they had hardly had a kick in before keepers of Balagas latest gave gift to them the first lever after the break. Lampard made the decision to go with Kepa over Willy Caballero, which was a bad decision in the absence of the injured Edward Mendy, but it's a revealing it's, it's, a, it's revealing nothing new to know that the Spaniards' confidence is clearly shut as emphasized once more and the bizarre decision making that led to his non attempt to deal with Kurt Zuma's admittedly poor back pass. I don't want Kepa to be all the blame for Chelsea's draw, but Zuma and Christensen were a disaster in that game. I don't I don't I don't know what both of them are doing when Ings bypass in the middle of them and score a brilliant goal. It feels like they forgot they are in the pitch and this cost Zuma his woeful back pass error leads to the second goal. I don't understand why he was panicking when he had the ball. It's just unacceptable. Really unacceptable. We need a new centre back as soon as the January transfer window opens because we are nowhere near to the top four if we are gonna play like this with this defence. I mean like nowhere. He finally got off the mark in the Premier League after four barren outings. A man from the first minute the German had the ball in the net with a smart near post header only to be denied by the flag but he would not have to wait long for the opener. The dummy which he sold Jan Bernerk up the river was outrageous. The pace which he raced away frightening the, the finish after he appeared to have dealt is just clinical from Werner. Bernerk was clearly rattled because when Jorginho spooned high pass in behind soon after he hesitated allowing Werner to get between him and the ball and from there it was more ruthless stuff. The ball lifted playfully over Alex McCarthy and nudged home. Werner took the line, only Jamie Vardy, the Premier League's most established last man merchant, had been called offside more times this season. But when he gets his right, he takes some catching. Bernard will be having sleepless nights for some time, but by the time the season's done, you sense he won't be alone. So, Chilwell, when we go to Chilwell, he was great for, Ch for Chelsea in the first half at least, offering the attacking threat of Marcos Alonso without the defensive liability and allowing Mason Mount to drift inside without sacrificing the Blues attacking width. And the inclusion of more defensively minded Cesar Spilqueta at the right back, it, it, it gives him more license too and Lampard was animated in this technical area encouraging him to use it and finally the Champions League will be back Tuesday as Chelsea face Sevilla at Stamford Bridge and tomorrow I'll be making a video about Chelsea predicted lineup, goal predictions and injury updates and guys this is all I have for today's video and make sure you like this video if you are enjoying this content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the, the bell icon to get all the new videos when I upload thank you for watching this video guys bye bye